Welcome to Computer Science Connections, Coding a Time Capsule. This module makes connections between social studies, ELA, and computer science. Specifically, it can introduce, reinforce, or extend any student learning related to a specific historical event or time period. If you're teaching about historical perspectives, current events, self-expression, or just want to get your students coding, you've come to the right place. In this module, students will learn the basics of Sprite Lab, a block-based coding platform. The main computer science concepts in this module are sprites and events. A sprite is something you interact with, like a character in a game or an object in a scene. Sprites can have different properties, like its costume, size, and location. In coding, there are cause and effect relationships we trigger with events. An event is an action that tells a specific chunk of code to run. Events allow us to change our programs in real time. For example, by assigning a spin right behavior with a mouse click event, we can command this hamburger to spin right when it's clicked. There are four lessons in this module. In lesson one, students will learn the basics of Sprite Lab by coding the mood and imagery of a short poem written about a specific, important moment in time. Students will set a background, set text effects, create sprites with behaviors, play sounds, and trigger events that correspond to certain lines of text. Notice this drop-down menu of poems above the play space. We provide a unique poem for each level, but students can also choose which poem they want to illustrate by picking one from the list or entering their own. In this unplugged lesson, students will plan and write their own time capsule poem about the world they live in today. In lesson three, students use their poem from the previous lesson to create their personalized time capsule poems. They will use block codes to animate and enhance their projects. In the final unplugged lesson, students will present their project to their peers. They will discuss the importance of curation and what elements are essential in retelling history. This module is focused on finding the mood or tone shifts within a poem. To illustrate those shifts, students need to code new effects to be triggered when a particular line shows on the screen. However, waiting for each line to animate just to check your code can be cumbersome. We suggest you show students how to try out different effects under the win run event. When a student is satisfied with their code, they can drag that chunk of code under the corresponding win line shows event. A student might encounter a bug if their sprites costume selections are inconsistent. Have students double check that they've selected the correct costume to call the intended sprite. In this example, the coder wants the sprite with a girl costume to grow when line one shows. However, the coder mistakenly assigned the basketball sprite to grow. Because there is no basketball sprite in the play space, nothing will happen. To debug, change the basketball sprite to the sprite with a girl costume in this block. If students struggle to enter their own poem, model how to use the dropdown above the play space to select Enter My Own. In every lesson plan, discussion questions are coupled with discussion goals. Check for understanding and promote student reflection by incorporating these discussion questions into your teaching. Review the concepts of mood and imagery with your students. Use the provided slideshow to introduce these concepts and teach the vocabulary within the context of the lesson. Explain to students that mood and imagery can be illustrated by the code students write. Students can illustrate mood with visual effects. 
This module is aligned with the college, career, and civic life framework, Common Core ELA standards, and the Computer Science Teachers Association standards in order to align to the concepts you already teach. To help you think of ways to integrate, ask yourself, how might this module support the content I'm already teaching, and should I use this module to introduce, reinforce, or extend student learning on this topic? Don't forget about the hide and show feature for each lesson. It's best practice to only show the lesson students are currently working on. If you do not hide the following lessons, students will be moved on to the next lesson automatically. Before teaching this module, try the lessons and review the lesson plans and additional resources. Code.org provides resources like slides, student handouts, and helpful hints to help you and your students get started.